And so, there I was, Professor Jack B. Nimble, about to jump over the candlestick when I realized it wasn't a candle at all, but a nest of fire-breathing baby dragons. <gasps> your assignment is to come up with a tall tale of your own. See, it's just that since I'm cursed to never lie, I'm not real good at stretching the truth. Well, then why don't you try to find a real-life story that is so dramatic that it sounds like a tall tale? Perfect! Wait, where am I gonna find one of those? My, what big muscles you have. All the better to hug you with. Wait a splinter! You two are dating! What? No, that's silly. Of course we're not. Romantic picnic! Um, heart-shaped cupcakes? Really, guys? Come on. Uh, these aren't romantic. My uncle made them. What about this? Your initials inside a heart? Oh, we didn't do that. Must have been that, uh, woodpecker. Bad woodpecker. Uh. Okay, well, what about this? Ashlyn, I'm so glad we're secretly dating. Love, Hunter Huntsman. I mean, come on. You wrote that for me? <gasps> when Professor Nimble asks me if anything dramatic happened today, I'm gonna have to tell everyone about you guys. I can't lie. What are you gonna do? How am I going on? Wait a splinter. I think I have an idea. Well, I was out walking in the woods, and I saw something pretty amazing. I saw Hunter and a Hunter That girl is a nut. In all the right ways. I'm just so obvious. I mean, come on. A uh, Dex? Dexter? Dexter Charming! Uh, I'm up! I mean, hi, Cupid. Uh... <laughs> what is up with you? <laughs> oh, Raven. You know, Briar is having that party on Friday, and I want to ask Raven to be my date, but I'm, I'm just afraid I'm going to mess it up. There are other girls at this school. You'd ask Raven out for me? Not what I meant. <sighs> I, I wish I was more like my brother. If I was the great Daring Charming, girls would just fall for me. Literally. Why don't you try your asking out skills on your friends? That's a great idea! You're the best! How about a little thank you kid? The art of conjuration, making things... Hey, Briar, if I said something like, you want to go out with me, uh, would you? Oh man! <laughs> So, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you fell from heaven, cause Maddie, you are an angel. You speak riddleish too? <laughs> oh man! So, this weekend, you, me. <laughs> Ew. Oh. oh man! Mind if I sit? R Raven, uh, um, you come up here too? Best place in the whole school to watch the sunset. Hey, would you go with me to Briar's party on Friday? What? I I'd rather just go with a friend. Less pressure that way, know what I mean? <laughs> Excellent. I'll see you Friday. Yes! Oh, I'm going to a party with Raven Queen! <laughs> Dex! It totally worked! You're the best! So here we find ourselves the day after Legacy Day. And relationships between the rebels and the royals are anything but a fairy tale. Raven totally ruined Legacy Day, if you ask me. Hey, Raven wants to write her own happily ever after, not be told what to do by the royals. Oh, please. We all saw what really happened at Legacy Day. If I can't have the destiny I want, then I'll make sure no one has theirs! <laughs> tell you how it happened. I propose we banish the rebels to their own evil school. <laughs> Are you mad? That did not happen. Uh, I know the mature way to handle this. Let's just ignore them. Fine. <laughs> <gasps> oh, Hex, no you didn't. Oh, it is on like fairy song. We have to stop them. I got this. 
I know things have been hard recently, and, and Apple and I don't exactly see eye to eye. But it doesn't mean we want our friends to fight about it. I'm glad we can agree on something. <laughs> Me too. Besides, it's not like we can really rewrite our destinies. We have happily ever afters. You don't. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, my! We're doing that, are we? Wow! <laughs> you see what Raven did? This school will never be the same. Exactly, and I think it's a good thing. A very good thing. <laughs> Raven, what's the hatter? It's Apple. She's really upset about Legacy Day. I wish I could do something to make Apple feel better. Like all fairy tale princesses, she needs an arch enemy to be the end of her yang and make her feel complete. So, I just need to find someone to take my place as Apple's storybook nemesis. Um, I'll do it. It's always been my dream to be the evilest pig this school ever saw. <laughs> Ah! Hey, Raven, I did something diabolical. I switched the yellow mustard for the brown mustard. <laughs> wow, these hot dogs are great. I know, I think it's the new mustard. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna drop dangerous gas-filled balloons on unsuspecting students. Ba -ba -ba. Really? Uh, what kind of gas did you fill them with? Helium. Okay, helium is not dangerous. It does this. <gasps> I heard you're trying to find an evil replacement to make me happy. That is so mean. Excuse me? You and I are supposed to be frenemies. But I don't want to. <gasps> I want to choose my own destiny. Why can't you Girl? understand that? I can't believe Girl. you're doing this. Girls! Hi. I don't want to be an evil queen anymore. Didn't you say this was your big dream? Oh, oh, that? That was this morning. <laughs> now I want to be a lunatic. Ba -ba -ba. And so the struggle continues at Ever After High. Maybe things will just magically work out. Yeah, when pigs fly. <laughs> they told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Excuse me, Professor Piper? Can you show us that melody again? Of course, my dear. Kitty, you know what happens when... <laughs> oh, rats, I forgot. Raven Queen, please report to Baba Yaga's office. Me? Yes, you. Uh, Madam Yaga, is everything... Okay. Raven, take a seat. As a faculty advisor, it's my job to meet with the, um... Troubled students. What? I'm not troubled. We're here to get you back on the right path. <laughs> the wrong path. I'll let your friends explain. Raven, I adore you. But, like, the other day, you spilled that everlasting black ink all over my new ball gown. That was an accident. I felt really bad and said I was sorry like a hundred times. You're not supposed to apologize. You're evil. Oh, but what if I don't want to... Raven, you're here to listen. Briar, would you like to go next? Everyone, I set up a bungee jumping platform on the east turret. Briar, hocus focus. Maddie. I think Raven is wicked awesome just the way she is. And you didn't tell me we were here to be hassle her. You said we were going to have a tea party. Yes, I lied. We haven't heard from Lizzie Hartz. Now that's what we're looking for from an evil queen. I think we made real progress here. But uh, how do I change back? I don't want to be a chicken man! La, 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 la. Um, hey, Apple, could you not sing in the morning? 
or ever? Oh, you big kidder. Mirror, mirror. So smart and cool. Who's the fairest at this school? You are, Apple White. Greatest mirror ever. I'm gonna borrow some jewelry from Briar. BRB! <laughs> I wonder if some magic can get a little more curl going on here. No. <gasps> la, 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 la. Magic mirror. What do you think? What do I think? <laughs> My mirror. Did something happen while I was gone? Um, no. Not that I remember. This is a royal fairy fail. Come on, we're gonna find you another mirror. My mirror? Here you go. What? You you don't have a bigger mirror? You never know when you need to look good on the go. I'm having trouble finding one that's just right. Some of these are too narrow, too wide. Oh, I don't like the frames. You want to borrow my mirror? Well, okay, just let me do one quick checkeroo. Oh. Ooh. You're never getting that away from him. Yeah, I know. Okay. This is just the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone. Apple, I broke your magic mirror. Oh, I know. You what? Duh. You're supposed to be the most evil person ever. I just assumed you did it and then lied about it. Until my new mirror arrives, I know how you can make it up to me. Is this the perfect thing to wear to crown Killer's class? Of course it is. Fairest one of... Ow! So heavy! Stop breaking character! I don't want to keep calling you the fairest. Come on. Be a good evil roommate. Everyone at school is buzzing about the Royal Student Council elections, but there's only one choice for president. She's running unopposed again. Apple White. Blondie, just because I don't have an opponent doesn't mean I'm not going to work my crown off. I'll use my debate time to outline my plan for royal dances, royal fundraisers, royal canned food drives, royal bleh and royal blah and royal na na na. Wouldn't it be great if someone else... I'll do it. I will run against Apple for president. Uh, what now? Vote for Maddie! Vote for me! <laughs> Hats over crowns, vote for Maddie. Oh, uh, hey, Raven. Uh, Dexter, hey. vote for me! Ow! I mean, oh boy, thanks so much for that pin. Uh. So here we go, fellow fairy tales. The Ever After High Royal Student Council debate. First question goes to Apple White. Why would anyone not vote for you? Let me just say, I will preside over this school like I will my future kingdom. Perfectly. <laughs> and Maddie, my question for you is, why would you run against Apple? Are you... Mad? Why, yes, and thank you for noticing. If the squirrel eats acorns but never a steak, how much water fills up the lake? <laughs> Excuse me? You heard us. Apple's been president long enough. Maddie's mad. I have a terrific idea. It'd just be oh so swell if the council could have the castle doors widen for the not so tiny of us. I think we can make that happen, but I need to check with my co-president. For the cave of the bear is open so wide. Would you really change the pull of the tide? <laughs> what she said. <laughs> you had correctly, Raven Queen. Uh, Professor Rumpelstiltskin? This is totally unfair. You can't test us on chapters 1 through 34. We've only studied up to chapter 2. I cannot tell a lie, and well, that that's just not very nice. <laughs> you guys don't know about Professor Rumpelstiltskin? At the beginning of each year, he gives an insanely hard test. His students have to ask for extra credit, <laughs> which is just spinning straw into gold for him. The test is tomorrow morning. Look, I'm totally getting stress splinters. Well, I could tutor you guys. I've been studying on my own, like, forever after. Royally cool. Ooh, let's start with the basic elements. <sighs> if we can't wake up Briar, we're totally gonna fail the test. <sighs> Man, if only she took studying as seriously as partying. Oh, that's it! <sighs> oh, hey guys, what's up? You! Finally! But now you have to stay awake and help us. Well, there's one thing I'm always up for. 
a study party. Yes! yes. The basic elements. There's pixie dust and dragon fire. Pixie dust and dragon fire. <laughs> Time is up. Let's see how you fail. Raven Queen. An A. Apple White. An A. Cedar Wood. A. Hunter Osman. Never underestimate the power of a study party. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, C.A. Cupid, adopted daughter of Eros, the god of love. She currently attends Monster High, but is about to discover that another school is in need of her very special talents. <laughs> Fairy tale <sighs> destinies are now anything but certain. Will princesses end up with their princes? Will the rebel students now find true love? These relationships will need Cupid's help to end happily ever after. Hello, fair lady of love. I am Hopper Crokington II, and I am in desperate need of your counsel. I know just what every frog needs to become a prince. My lady, wait! Hey there, you're Cupid. I think they should call you Cutepid. Oh, when I get tongue-tied, I turn back... Blast! If only I possessed my poetic skills while in human form, but so flustered I become near the beauty that is Briar. You know what? I got this. Tell me how you feel about Briar. Well, there is none that can... Hopper, wait, you're the secret admirer who wanted to meet here? I mean, look, first you send me a basket of chocolate-covered <laughs> flies, then a smelly bouquet of swamp grass. I'm sorry, but I just don't want to go to the dance with you. My sweet Briar, the beauty of this night is not compared to the beauty you possess. Hopper, I've never seen this side of you. Hey, Cupid. Oh, Dexter. Oh, anything else you want to say? Oops. You're just so... <laughs> I mean, I mean... Blast. Ew. Oh, ribbit. <laughs> I got the shoes. Now, how about a hug for your hero? Boy, I hope that's you, Hunter. You know it, Pumpkin. Thank you so much for getting these. And now you have to leave. It, huh? Sorry, sweetie, but I have less than an hour to set up the display for these new shoes. Blondie and Briar are gonna be here any minute, and they can't know about us. Well, maybe... Uh-huh, sounds great. Then you and I... You're the best. Get some coffee, and now I'm here. Thanks for helping, you guys. Now, we don't have much time, but... No problem, Ashlyn. I see where you have the platform set up, and I would move it 20 inches to the left so the natural light hits the shoes, giving them that halo effect. Just right, right? Um, I guess. <laughs> Briar, thoughts? <sighs> Pesky. <laughs> oh, it is on! And that's why glass slippers are totally overrated. I hope I can open this. Pesky. That is the last straw. Hmm. <laughs> We've only unpacked one box so far. And the store opens in less than a minute. We're never gonna make it. You could run, Pesky, but you can't hide. Hunter, no! <laughs> wow. So, did we get free shoes for helping or what? You ready for that hug, hero? Or how about a kiss? <laughs> Pesky! Sorry, Carmine. I'd love to race again, but I gotta get back to school. My ears. Go find our pack. <laughs> you beat that wolf in a race. How do you do it? I'm all ears. Kitty, you can't tell anyone about that. <laughs> Three. Ah. Raven? Let me guess. You... Yeah. Wanna talk about it? I just... 
I guess it would be a relief to finally tell someone. My family is hiding a secret. Your mom, Red Riding Hood, married the big bad wolf? Don't worry, I won't say a word. It's not you I'm worried about. We're running laps today, which you'll find very important when some crazy old bakers try to eat you. Okay, now ready, set! Kitty. Sneakers actually worked. What? I'll show you. <laughs> Raven, thanks. Don't worry, kitty. It'll wear off. Eventually. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different.